I, I kind of get it a bit more. More than before. I, uh... I'm gonna go fight Kuno's dad. <laughs> How much alcohol do I have left? I still have some. If I need to get strong, I'm ready. You know what we had to do against Measurehead last time? We had to dual wield alcohol. And I'm dual wielding it again, baby! Yeah, she's just not even worth talking to. Okay. What was it? First floor, room 12? There's the Marxist. You hear someone walking around. That's room 10. Are you room 11? I don't know. I'll check over here. Didn't she say- didn't they say that she found him in like the bathroom or something? Nah, that's fine. A shabby door hangs oddly on its hinges, secured to the doorframe with a safety chain. An unpaid energy bill is attached, threatening to cut off the electricity. It's addressed to Mr. Uno Doroita. Doroita. Your heartbeat quickens. Palms go sweaty. The siren of amphetamine is singing you her song. Okay. I don't have any reason to save scum and I don't really- I'm not going to save scum. I'm just going to save out of, in case I like fucking die. A shabby door hangs oddly on its hinges, secured to the doorframe with a safety chain. No response. Nothing happens. It must be an ambush. Let's get your adrenaline pumping, just in case. You'll need to equip the chain cutters to enter. Snip right through the metal. But my alcohol. A shabby door hangs oddly on its hinges. Snip. The cutter goes through them like dead leaves. The links fall to the ground on the other side of the door. Don't let the quiet fool you. The beast is in there somewhere, ready to rip you to shreds with a broken bottle. Half light, I know what you're doing. You're you're my flight or flight uh, flight or fight response. You might be wrong, but I'm feeling it. You can just go in now. <gasps> Money. Glossy erotica covers the wall, wrinkled from moisture. A phone book lies open on the table, covering a stack of utility bills. Right next to it, in plain sight, sits a small bottle of amphetamine, conveniently equipped with a straw. You pocket the bottle as if it were the most natural thing in the world. Don't wait. Celebrate. Blast that shit right here. Take inventory of it once this boring table shit is done. Blast it before you face the beast, De Ruita. You're going to need the encouragement. I could just leave. Ah, Motorix. I could just leave. Like, I could, I could just go. Or, I can drink loads of alcohol and fight him myself.
the interfacing here is it, it doesn't click very well let's go flashlight cutters wake the fuck up bundle of clothes heaped on the bed a stained parka some towels and a duvet wake the fuck up samurai we have a city to burn something underneath there is breathing it doesn't give a shit that you're a cop stop your hand now or you're gonna die it's not too late no one's going to blame you for backing out you don't have to do this just get out no no, Kuno's dad is a piece of shit. I'm gonna beat his ass. Also, I feel like this is a red herring. They keep warning me, and I feel like this, and Kuno talks him up, and Kuno's a, a dumb, so I, yeah. Your hand touches a greasy duvet covered in cigarette burns and ketchup stains. You hear a growl. There is something alive underneath it. Pull the blanket off. You see a 60-year-old fat red-headed man passed out from large amounts of alcohol and God knows what else. The smell of shit rises from his mouth. You don't have to take him down. He's already down. Mission accomplished. Damn, I'm good. No one can ever tell me I'm not the best cop ever ever seen. Damn, I'm fucking good. I had to use some alcohol, but whatever. It is what it is. They just got a deadbeat fucking dead. 60 year old man. Whatever. Fuck does Kuno care? Took care of the drugs. All right. So you got Kuno's kilo. Here is how we do it. First, you give Kuno Kuno's kilo. Then Kuno gives you half back. That's how we split it. It's the best way. Street way. I don't think I should really give drugs to a 12 year old boy. Where down the street is? You sent your little friend in dressed as a hooker, distracted him. That's some sick shit. Tell your little slanty eyed friend respect from the Kuno. I'll do a lot of things to handle this kid. But disrespecting Kim like that is a no-go. Kuno wants to hear all about it. But first, we split the kilo. Then we shoot the shit. I'm keeping it, and I'm going to do it all myself. All right, you fucking juggy. Kuno knew you tried that sneaky pig shit on him. Tell him, Kuno! Kuno's got brains. This shit doesn't surprise Kuno. So Kuno's gonna give you one more chance. Know this, pig. Shit is major. Major fucking choice, pig. Kuno won't take this shit lightly. The pieces are moving, pig. This is fucking domino shit. Tick, 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 tick. Decision time. What's it gonna be? You're gonna fuck the Kuno. Fuck you. All right, all right. You fucked the Kuno. Everybody, Kuno got fucked by his pocket pig. Just when we get in our business on, the pig throws it all away. I told you he can't be trusted. I told you, I told you, I told you. 
I told you he'd steal the shit. Relax, see? We got plenty of Kilo. Kilo underground, in the tree. This ain't about that. This is about you and Kuno. You mismanaged this shit. Now everything is fucked between us. How are you gonna make this up to the Kuno, huh? In truth, Kuno doesn't really believe there's anything he can do to make up for this. The damage is irreparable. I looked around in there. It's not that the easy life you got going in that apartment. The fuck do you know about Kuno's life? Kuno's got plans. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we got plans. Six meters underground, below piping from before the war, the collapsed remains of the Martinez storm drain system. There are two stolen flashlights with piles of batteries next to them, beside two bedrolls, in the dark and opening into the lower tunnels. Six meters underground below piping from before the war, the collapsed remains of the Martinez storm drain system. Two stolen flashlights with piles of batteries next to them. Beside two bedrolls. Yeah? How the fuck are you still alive, pig? Dad is a half-dead alcoholic. I killed your dad, Kuno! What is this shit? He's fucked up on roids to drink more. You can't kill him. Kuno's dad says he'll die by his own hand. Die suicide style. In his mind, his father isn't vulnerable the way other mortals are. What? Your dad is, half, is a half-dead alcoholic. He was sleeping under some clothes. His posture changes. The swaying rooster motion stops for a second. Then he gets it going again, reorienting himself. Fuck right. Kuno's dad was sleeping like a bum. Kuno told you. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about anything. Fucking breaking and entering and shit. That's nothing to Kuno's dad. You got lucky, pig. Kuno knew this. Kuno's fucking violent fiend dad's been drinking hard lately. Kuno knew you have a way in. Narrow window. Kuno window. Ah. <sighs> I don't know how to respond to this. I'll 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 just talk him down. Yeah, Kuno's dad is fucking nothing. Fucking coma shit, stroke shit. Kuno's dad is so fucking violent. He's had a stroke many times. Shit. Ah. Kuno's gonna have one too. Gonna be just like Kuno's dad. Speed shit, crime shit, fucking on the bed. Kuno's gonna go out like Kuno's dad. Ravishol West style. Stop saying all this sad shit, Kuno. Ah. Ah. There's a touch of grief in there. Mm-hmm. Fuck are you talking, sad? Kuno's got hard shit, death shit, nothing shit. Okay, I like I like that was good voice acting. The kid breathes in and out like a boxer. <laughs> That's actually he punches the air. You don't have to turn into that, but he but he respects it. He wants to turn into that, though. Get your fucking nun ass out of here before Kuno fucks it dead. You think as you took Kuno's speed, <sighs> Kuno's gonna sob like a f turn into Kuno ain't turning into shit. Kuno is Kuno is that shit. He pants from exhaustion. If he doesn't stop soon. He's going to collapse from exhaustion. He's red all over. Man, could you imagine if you had another skill check to punch him again? Kuno won! Oh, you won, Kuno! A little hat jumps up and down behind the fence. He did not win. There is a crack in there now, and it's spreading across the face of his certainty. Uh. Fuck right there, where? Fucking three years or some shit? Holy shit. Uh, he, let me guess, Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about yeah, them. that's right. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about that. That's right. It's a mm. shithole. Kuno's gonna move underground. Yeah. I saw that. Shit. Kuno's gonna live in a fucking catacomb. Mm. Yeah, in a tomb, Kuno. I did not, I did right not to give you the drugs. That didn't change, shit pig. 
that only made things worse. Kuno knows you only took them to get fucked up yourself. Pigs always be pretending about shit like that. So I wonder, have I like failed? I, I bet I can't get any more information from him. The fuck about it? Oh, I guess, never mind. Kuno's fuck imp. Kuno uses the fuck imp for target practice. I'm just gonna, I, I mean, I don't need to know anything about the body anymore, so I'm just gonna exhaust the dialogue. End of conversation. Very strong. You should be this stoic. Shut up, physical instrument. Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. What? Kuno wasn't regional. You can't, you can't be fucking Revachol. I don't know. Some fucking... Try and call something. Let's go. Oh, I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. Where's Night City? Kuno gives this info out on a need to know basis. And you don't need to know. Oh, Kuno they even sound fake. Oh, they they even, oh, they even, oh, they even, ah. Just a lone pig trying to sugar talk some kids. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. Wow, I'm surprised they didn't, they didn't censor that because it's like different, but it's also like not. Your test. Get lost. Yeah, the kingdom of Kuno. The I'll ask him more lonely. questions for the XP, but that's about it. Look at that fucking shit. You're trying to get Kuno killed. Okay. Fuck does Kuno know? Yeah, 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 yeah whatever. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip through some of these. Oh, that's probably the slur I think it is. Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno can take it. Look it up in the library. Kuno's not a fucking dictionary. Okay. Fucking small brain. Kuno means the gardener, all right? Yeah, whatever. Uh, uh, the union the fixer. This have to do with yeah, the Kuno? she doesn't, he doesn't Kuno know anything about this. Expected relaying this information to him to be more rewarding. Right. I no, I didn't. Telling him you found out she isn't a gardener. You know what you should do if you want to get rewarded? Drugs. Drugs are more rewarding than work. I didn't want that. You. Or alcohol. I if did that all right. Drugs. Alcohol is just as rewarding, but it isn't a drug. This has been going on for quite a while, hasn't it? You've been thinking about drugs and alcohol for a long time now. Juicy drugs, tasty alcohol. Electrochemistry just wants me fucking dead. Seems kind of boring now, going back to... What was this about? Some yard? <laughs> Yards aren't interesting. Only drugs are interesting. Drugs and alcohol. You feel sad now, but what can you do? Life has to go on. With a heavy sigh, you say... Don't be wondering about Kuno's shit, pig. There's something very important in that trash container. Fuck does Kuno care about your hunch? That's your shit. Yeah, whatever. Okay, Kuno finally. Finally, I'm done with the child. Finally. All right, I have a skill point, though, I can spend. Uh, no need to internalize any more thoughts. As we're still working on the coal whatever the fuck. The trash container stands in the spring snow. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. Yeah, but like it... Search the food waste. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato pills, mostly. Unidentified sludge and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey, nothing. It's nothing. Nothing more to see here. What's this? What is it? A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. It's shiny. <gasps> Looks like the corner of something. Shiny! Something larger. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look oh! badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes written in a man's handwriting. You asking me now? It's some shit copper. How should I know? Shut up. Hey, maybe it's your paperwork, officer. Oh, shit, it might be. Some items, such as the ledger you found, are interactable. Go to your inventory. Dig in, hobo cop style. Wow, an armistice caliber 50 knock cannon. Half wrapped in paper tissues. <gasps> so shiny. It's a giant rifle, and it's very expensive. 
Not as expensive as that fat string of pearls snaking around the rotten banana peels, however. And is that Cordon Electric's preamp with Electra F2 tubes? It is. That catches quite a price. We're talking 12,000. Easy. Unless you're into hi-fi yourself. No, you won't. Because none of those things are real. They're not actually in there. All, all you see is a broken mug with a racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. Only in its social sensibility. What? You betcha. The container sounds a muffled gong. Oh no. The yellow man, as in... Oh no. Oh. Oh dear. Oh no. It's just a racist mug. What's there to read here? Not much. Oh no, now I'm stuck between not wanting to read it, but also being curious. Oh boy, here we go. Oh. What are you going to say about a broken, tossed away mug that you dug out of the garbage? This mug is an example of prejudice. I'm not going to use, I'm going to use an example of what not to do. I'm going to push this into the face of every merchant I find, tell them this is your in, in ideology. This mug will be useful. By denouncing it, I can earn political capital to mask my bad ass hustling, i.e. fraud and embezzlement. This mug didn't belong in the trash. It was just a funny mug. Can't anyone laugh anymore? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't think I've seen satire done this well in a game before. This is fucking hilarious. Um, I'm gonna earn political capital to mass my badass hustling. If you want to earn some change by guilting people, uh, go for it. Holy but shit. If you want to earn real dough, finish the case and start getting paid again. Fucking hell, that's funny. How, oh, oh, thanks for the dono. Uh, how have I never seen this before? God, this is hilarious. The yellow mug. It's awful. All right, what a ledger. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board, barely held together by a metal clip. This sad display is made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. Why do you pronounce it like that? There's a piece of toilet paper. Or is it cleaning tissue? No, it's toilet paper. Oh. Desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. Desperately. It's a metaphor for you. Ignorantly pass through the 8,000th sign that it's yours. Face the desolation. This is your ledger. You're a cop and it's your official ledger in your hand. And it stinks like you too and looks like you. Below the pathetics? Terror. <laughs> Do not look into its blue heart. Smell the ledger! The acidic stench of rotting food is rubbed off on the cellulose. It now forms the base of the experience. Oh my god. This base surrounded by a faint air of spoiled meat. The stuff of death itself. And then sprinkled liberally with the citrus zest of toilet cleaner. <sighs> An aluminium block runs the width of the board, biting down on the paperwork. Its crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. A regular pencil, the tip worn down to nothing, has been attached to the clip. The surface is interrupted by a silvery sticker. It's rectangular, sparkling with iridescence. You don't know how you didn't notice it before. What is this? To be honest, you have little to no idea. You're dumb. And alone. Somewhere, not here, the helpful Lieutenant Kitsuragi is making notes in his blue notebook. He tilts it ever so slightly. A glowing rectangle catches the light. He could advise you with this. The next moment, a bunch of sodden papers sag from the clip. 
I'll ask him more about the clipboard later. Uh, Roy, I I kind of need to sell some some I I need money. I'm I'm broke. I'm very broke. Doodaloodaloo. Wait, did I get a point? I did. You know what? I'm gonna put a point in empathy in an attempt to talk to this man again, real quick. I'd like to I'd like to ask him about his life. Also, he might be one of the other Hardy boys. Oh. Stop. Between those trucks down there. Smokes. Go get him. Now it's turning into a kind of a snow limbo, man. What's on your mind? Really? It's just a six? Ease into it. Don't go too far. This seems like a personal matter. But man, I want to know about your soul! You really are the law, aren't you? I get that being bluntly observant and inquisitive comes with the territory, but it certainly doesn't help with your conversational skills, does it? Just like that, he slips out of your reach. It is possible the yelling didn't help. I still failed it. Wow, you really gotta get a solid level of... to, to really, you know, to talk to him. Holy shit. Hey, sandwich man. Officer, the mere sight of police in Martinez makes me feel safer already. How can I, I help you? I love how godly impossible it is to take that man's sandwich. It's very... Well, I, I also have zero rhetoric, so I, that's part of it, but still. What's up, Roy? Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Care to share your drugs? Have you tried it before? It's almost like he's worried for you. Hell yeah. Here you go, man. Wow, he just gave me his drugs. Yes, darling. That's the coalition government ordained parolidon. Straight into your gut. Not so sure about this. Oh, why not, Volition? Because it's an anti-radiation drug. And you're a cop, not a post-apocalyptic scavenger. Thanks, man. Of course. Wait, Roy is a baller. I take back everything I said about Roy. I take back everything I said about Roy. Man's a post-apocalyptic, like, service worker, and he just gave me his drugs. This guy is a, is a baller. Do you have any recordings of the Cold de Mama Dakwa? Yes! The Cold de Mama Dakwa. Sorry, I would never have guessed that you were that interested in ultrasonic sounds. Or birds, for that matter. I would- well, well you know, I, I have hobbies. Oh, I didn't mean to imply otherwise. Well, it's been a while since I've gone hunting for the cold de Mamadakwa myself. Holy shit, he has a home. Once knew a group of young musicians who decided they didn't want to play music anymore and started looking for all kinds of interesting sounds instead. This was before, you know, lost touch with them after all of that. Mmm, cancer. Cool or not, one of them was obsessed with recording the Coldy Mamadakwa, and he was one of those passionate people who know a lot about all kinds of strange things. So he got the rest of us to join in his search. We thought we did. We got together all these recordings of unusual sound patterns. Compared them. <laughs> Cut them up and combined them into the Symphonia Coldy Mamadakwa. Can I listen to it? Unfortunately, I don't have any recordings from my old life. Oh. None at all. But I do have a tape with some ultrasonic sounds that might be what you're looking for. Yo, spin that bird song! This recording comes from down the coast. Wasn't looking to record anything specific. Just left a recording device there one morning. Keep in mind, I have to slow this one down enough to make sounds well over 200 kilohertz audible to the human ear. It will be... strange. 
That's fine by me, buddy. As the hum grows louder, modulating but always unnaturally uncomfortably low, like it's coming not from the speakers, but also from inside your chest, breathing is becoming difficult. That's an illusion. Your breathing is just as it was and will remain that way unless you start panicking. There's a growing sense of dread. <laughs> the sound is coming from inside you, but also surrounding you. It feels as though someone is standing just outside your range of vision and watching you, doing this to you. He nods to you, reassuringly, just as more diverse, higher pitched sounds, some random, some appearing to form patterns, hit your eardrums. Gulls and skewers, but shh. It's a pointed finger and inclines his head towards the speakers. A new, very high-pitched, shivering sound emerges amidst the others. A low range of sounds is easier to handle with a focal point, but still troubling. You are mesmerized by the sounds, but also feel nausea welling up as the motif continues, then begins to recede, dissolving in what must be the sound of water lapping at the bank. You know, now that I've listened to it on these new speakers... It's not the cold in Amadakwa. Wrong patterns, wrong photons. Probably some insect trying to sing higher than its predators can hear. Still, fascinating, aren't they? Early morning sounds. That's kind of fast. I, I did not expect him to have this stuff. That's kind of cool. Sure. Let me have a look. I have a fascinating photo of a corpse here. Oh my god, is this the evidence? Oh, no. I don't like those kinds of objects. Oh. No sale. No, 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 no. I, I, no, no, no. I'm, <laughs> the tattoos. Yeah, I definitely meant that. A photic path, counter radiance network, anti magnetism. It's darkness. That's all I know. Sell me something lighter. Anything else you're thinking of selling? <sighs> I don't want to. I don't want to pawn the. The filament thing, but I kind of do. There's also this other crap that I. Wait, I bought this from him. I want to keep the lieutenant's handkerchief. He was nice about it. I'm not purchasing any more clothing at the moment. Crap. And especially that tie. It swallows photons around it. I have no need for necrotic objects. Your mother is a necrotic object! I'm fun! Look at me sparking in the light of the projector! <sighs> Anything else you're thinking of selling? I gotta do it. Goodbye, production schedule filament memory. <sighs> Another time, perhaps. I'm sorry, I'm broke. I need it. I need it. I'm broke. Uh... A rusting control panel with loose wires dangling out from the hole where an indicator light used to be and a mechanical lever sitting in the middle. This panel usually closes the water lock, turning it into a bridge that lets you cross. Pull on the lever, or nothing happens. Pull it hard, push it harder! Nothing happens. The man watches you in silence. A spring brings the lever. Wasn't there a sign of- Yeah, yeah, it'll be, it'll be done on Wednesday morning, I know. Wait, the man watches you in silence? Where's the man? I, he's like, not even there. I wanted to just keep pulling it, it was funny to me. <sighs> hey, you know, everyone's playthrough is different. In my playthrough, I happen to sell the device. <gasps> there are cigarettes down there! Let's fucking go. Ah, so the, the drugs... The... Oh, so the uh, Peraldon or whatever. Five uses! Holy shit! All right, what other tasks do I have to complete in the meantime? Or map things that I can do. Cargo container door I can try. 
Oh, the weird um, merchant guy. Titus is impossible. Gaston is tough. We'll talk to the weird merchant guy. He's annoying, but I, I might as well try. I mean, white checks are meant to be retried anyway, you know? Everything's still cool here, officer. Can I have some money? There's no need to dress this one up. Just tell him what you want. Here you go. Oh, okay. But why, officer? I don't know, man. I just need to get money. Ah, yes. Money is very important. You see, I'm an honest entrepreneur. I can't help you if you don't give me a good reason as to why I should. Sorry, detective. I don't have a lot of in intellect. It's very low. It's very, you know, I gotta be honest. There's actually a lot of checks that are blue checks around here. Maybe it's just the, the checks because of, uh, wait. Box of sunglasses. There's another blue check on the box of sunglasses. The shine on these sunglasses lasts a lifetime, officer. 100% guaranteed. No luck. All you find is this lime-colored cellophane visor produced by a bargain sportswear brand called Amphibian, apparently. There's a malformed green frog on its bent cap. That sounds like a meme I don't, that I don't understand. Oh! That visor is perfect for you, officer. Oh my god. It'll definitely keep the sun out of your eyes while you're shooting criminals. Plus and one electrochemistry, minus one logic. Six real. Plus one's perception. God. What are the other, what are the other items I've got? Keep coming. You find your economical, but also trade. The speakers below are banged up and worthless. The sneakers triumph over them. They're the star of the show here. That is really good sneakers, though. I won't lie. Could you imagine if I sold that that block just to buy the fucking sneakers? I would do that. I would do that. And then I'd probably stay the night in like, um... Wait, I'm a hobo cop. I'd stay the night in the dumpster. And I'd be a king. All right, what are the things we have going on? Oh yeah, I might as well wash off the death smell while I'm here. Visit my bathroom. Hey, did you know that Roy has a recording? Oh, hello, dear. There you are again. Surely things can't be that bad. Oh, wait, this is the memory question. Whoops. You sense that she won't judge you, no matter what you say. They're catastrophic. You know where we are, right? We are in the Whirling and Rags cafeteria. That's right. And where is the whirling itself located? In Revishol? Yes, indeed. We are in the fine city of Revishol. Okay. Yes. And Revishol? I don't know. Oh my. How would I even begin to tell you? Revishol is the most beautiful city in the world. We're in a crater. Fortunate to be here, you and I. I haven't seen very many other cities personally. Everyone says so. Revishol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world, though it has seen better days. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, yes? It's a bad year in my late 40s. There, there. The year is 51 and spring has only just started. I'm sure there are better days ahead. She looks flustered, her hand smoothing out the creases in her blanket even as she attempts to reassure you. Outside, spring rain seeps into the cracks in the walls mm. and the cobblestone streets and into grated storm drains, all the way down into the sewers. Above ground, the first Maybells blossom. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What Some kind of government? Some kind of democracy? I'd like to think it's the dictatorship of the proletariat, but something tells me it's not. Oh my god. Our leaders are fierce warriors who traverse the plain on steeds. 
We are governed by intelligent machines that perform calculations to determine the freest market. Everyone hustles and grinds like a badass visionary. <laughs> Radios are being used to control people's minds and distort our perception of reality, concealing our true masters, foreigners and women. Foreigners and women. <laughs> Well, well, which one are we? Are we are we capitalists or are we are we uh, are we capitalists? Are we like alt right conspiracy theory? Are we fascist? Are we militaristic? Or are we cop? I'm on that grind set. Oh no, nothing like that, dear. Revishal is a zone of control led by an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have almost no government of our own. Certainly no machines. Okay. Oh dear. This is troubling. How are there cops? You really I'm a cop. To know that, being one yourself. Mm -hmm. There aren't really any cops in Revishal, not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. Yeah, um, was it the Revishal pol uh, something militia? Citizens militia? RCM? But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides... She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. So how did I do? You didn't do very well, dear. <laughs> Look like you're a defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. This was 42 years ago. Oh, yeah, so it was around 50 years. Okay. It has something to do with everything. I really don't know how to explain it better. I'm just a poor woman, she thinks. What do I know of these things? And how can I help you? Someone more educated in these things than me? Someone rich, maybe. Wealthy people are educated. Though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. But thank you, sweetie. You did make me forget about my- More wealth. cryptids! Well, of course, dear. Is there a particular Shit. cryptid that- Of Wow, you work hard. I do? Oh, yes. You hustle. You're a provider. It's tough out there, but you keep it real and provide. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rhetoric is throwing communism out. And now, and now, Savior Fair is, is throwing fucking, um, is throwing capitalism out. Oh, yeah. Like a horse. A workhorse. For hard work. Look at yourself. You're a human pedometer. You must have walked 200,000 steps down cracked asphalt, mosaic, sand, and linoleum after you re-emerged. That is the sign of a hustler who never gives up. The world is harsh and people are evil. You didn't make it that way. And you won't let it break you. You ride. I fucking ride till I die, bitch. That's just what it's like. Life and death. But you got gills on your side, baby. Got those black papers with the faces of the innocents on them. You bring in the Franco Negros and the Solas. It ain't easy, but you do it. Day in and day out. You didn't make the rules, but you won't lose. You're a cop and a sprinter and a money printer. A cop and a money printer. Yeah, I took some money out that one guy. You didn't log that in as a donation either. You don't lock any of that shit in. You're a straight rider. And then there's that spawning stuff on that Roy guy. Yeah. You're in the sales business. Shake them for shit and then pawn it off. Law officer style. Sure, sure. And has it been easy? Is life easy? Have you not gone into cardiac arrest? Are you not about to have an anxiety attack or shoot yourself in the mouth? Uh. But you still hustle 24-7, ride or die. <laughs> now, ask yourself, are you rich? Yeah. 
Yes. Get out of here. You're a pauper. Damn. You work harder than anyone. Almost rode yourself to the grave, and you're still practically a hobo. Why is that? Fucking taxes, man. The big man on top holding me down. That's right. 100%. <laughs> Fucking G-Man's got his jam covered, sticky fingers in your pocket. Stealing <laughs> from you every time you buy, sell, walk, talk, fart, so much as sneeze. I was like, what would, what would a fucking hustler guy say? What would they say? What would, like, some some Andrew Tate cock slobbering motherfucker say? And it's like, taxes. <laughs> God, I'm so proud of myself. Every time you wipe your ass, they got their direct and their indirect modes of taxation. Sales tax, excise duty, extraction tax, alimony. One tax that doesn't even have a name. Plus there's the stuff people in other countries pay for. That makes them ask for more money from you. Here, total tax duties add up to... A fuckload. 98% of all your money. Are you sure that's a pretty number? What are you not sure about? They're milking your nipples till they bleed. Can't you see? Aren't you sick and tired of having bloody nipples? No fucking way! I guess I'm a free market fundamentalist now. This isn't helping me solve my money problem, it's only making me into a free market type. Bleeding nipples are kind of a pain, but how will deregulation help with that? Often, but only a little. Didn't I opt into being a communist? Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spin my entire brain in circles. I'm gonna opt into being a communist and opt into being a free market fundamentalist. Do those things relate? I don't know. I don't know anything about government and economy. I dropped out of college to become a YouTuber. I don't fucking understand, but it sounds funny. Here you go, hustler. Fight the righteous fight. Free the people. Keep it real. Keep it street. Keep foaming at the mouth furiously on the tax issue. Indirect modes of taxation. Minus two empathy. <laughs> First, if you have a side bitch ideology cooking somewhere, don't sweat it. Fight an indirect taxation for the gossamer state is compatible with all creeds. It's cool like that. You're a cool anarchist now. Unless you don't want to be an anarchist. Whatever. Stuff this meal ticket in your eye socket and let's see if we can steal some love back from the robber barons at the customs agency and the banditos at the Insulindium Financial Oversight and Competition Committee. God, I love this, the, the, the infighting in this game. I love it. You want to be a free market person? You lose empathy. You want to be a communist? You lose uh, visual calculus or like, I would argue, I guess like mathematical intelligence. Oh, wait. Revisholian nationhood sounds like the, the, um, sounds like the inexplicable feminine. Wait, okay, hold on. I, I'm about I'm about done with with the, with the game for tonight. I'm about about ready to call it. I have to read a few more of these. Inexplicable feminist, inexplicable feminist agenda. Coach physical instrument, lonesome way home, the bow collector, caustic echo, finger pistols nine millimeter. <laughs> Oh shit, advanced race theory. Opioid receptor antagonist. Homosexual underground. I need to know. I need to know. Hardcore aesthetic. Oh, this is great. This is so perfect. All right, all right, all right. I'm calling it here. What a goddamn good stream. What a great series of, of stuff for this game. God, it's so fun.